Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is Monday, June the 28th, 2021. Let's talk Western Conference Finals NBA basketball. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now I know officially the Phoenix Suns are up three games to one on the Clippers. I understand Phoenix hasn't been this close to an NBA Finals in quite some time, right? I get that the atmosphere for game five in Phoenix is gonna be intense. Fans are gonna show up for a victory lap. I get all of that. What I want people to consider is how close the series has been. Right, folks? It's a jump ball. Understand, the Clippers could have won the game two games ago. We're up. We're up with very little time on the clock. And, of course, the dominator, DeAndre Ayton, gets a tip in off a Jake Crowder pass from out of bounds. Right? Had that ball not been a live ball, that might have been called goaltending. Right? Just, just food for thought. I believe that this series is too close to assume that Phoenix is going to win Game 5 at home. Understand the Clippers in two different series this playoff year have won on an opponent's home court. Right? The Clippers have already proven that they could win on the road. That's already been established. So for gamblers who have a bit of change on this series, let me offer a couple of plays here. Right, We're not even going to lean on any side. These are insurance hedges that I believe are a wise move right now. So, if you have Phoenix, given the flow of this series, right? Game 5 in Phoenix, Game 6 in L.A., Game 7 in Phoenix. Given the flow of this series and given the Clipper tendency to climb out of 0-2 holes, to get better this playoff season, to get play better later in playoff series, Right? It might be that Ty Lu is a better coach than we realize. Right? It might be that Clipper defense, even without Kawhi Leonard, is better than we realize. It might be that the Clippers, who led the NBA in free throw percentage and in three-point shooting percentage, might be more efficient than the regular team. So if you're on the Phoenix side of the ledger, in my opinion, just on a series prop, right? The correct outcome for the series prop. You want to look at Phoenix plus 700, right? You're getting a 7 to 1 rate of return to win in 7 games. Understand, Phoenix plays Game 7 in Phoenix if the series goes that far. The plus 700, you're not paying that much for the hedge. And it will protect you if Phoenix can't deliver in Game 5. Right? Let me just say, too, given Clipper history, I don't see Phoenix beating the Clippers in Game 6 in Los Angeles. I just don't. Right? Let's talk about a sister hedge. As the Clippers are down 3-1, the only way for them to win the series is in seven games. Right? What I want people to do is to look at the series price prop because it doesn't line up with the Clippers to win the series. The Clippers to win the series, they're only giving you 12 to 1 odds right now. Would it surprise you that some online shops and shop around 
are giving you the Clippers in seven at a plus 1300 in other words if you just pick the right bet it's the same possible outcome in the real world but yet they're giving you a plus 100 extra I believe gamblers need to consider Phoenix to win in seven games at a plus 700 we're just looking for cheap insurance and the Clippers to win in seven games at a plus 1300 right longtime viewers here know I have action on all of the teams left in the NBA at this point we're just playing a game trying to get a piece of casino mispricings right I believe Patrick Beverly has figured out how to slow down Corey Booker I don't see any appreciable edge that the Phoenix Suns have on the LA Clippers even without Kawhi Leonard I'm noticing Chris Paul has slowed down the scoring pace of the series right he didn't play the first two games since then the numbers have been down the teams have been lucky to get to 100 points in fact I don't think they have the last game was in the 80s when you slow down the pace and when the other team is as good as you are quite frankly right anything can happen especially when you have mercurial players streak players streak shooters like Terrence Mann playing for the Clippers right so to me this is a jump ball I would not be surprised if the Clippers win game five and game six the point is by the time you get to game seven you want to be assured either a seven to one hedge or a thirteen to one hedge right right here because I have money on both I'm gonna take both halves of the play to win in seven games because of the leverage I'm getting Suns seven to one to win in seven Clippers 13 to one to win in seven the only way they can possibly win the series I don't view the series as over people need to look at the track record of the Clippers their ability to win on the road the fact that some of these games came down to fluke plays the defensive adjustments the Clippers have made again that Beverly on Booker adjustment is huge the low pace of the series now right and they need to realize this series even at 3-1 is still uncertain it's still up for grabs I don't feel the Suns have the structural advantage over the Clippers that I believe the Milwaukee Bucks have over the Atlanta Hawks right in that series my favorite play are the Bucks to win in five and the Bucks to win in six in the Western Conference in this series right maybe Phoenix closes it out in five but since they're offering me seven to one for them to do it in seven and 13 to one for the Clippers to do it in seven I'm taking those props right here since I already have money on both of these teams that's how I see it let me hear from you I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video I still feel that the West is up for grabs I don't see that much difference between the Phoenix Suns even with Chris Paul and the Los Angeles Clippers let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.